SPFalcons.com here with Joe Rasmussen, freshman center on the men's basketball team. Uh, Joe, a team got a split last week in Chico, California. Uh, talk about last week. Uh, I mean, we played really well in the first game. Shot very well from the field. Pat was on fire. That helped a lot. Um, the second game came out. Didn't shoot nearly as well as we did in the first game, but we were able to hang around for a little bit and then just lost it close. We're coming up. This, yeah. You mentioned Pat was on fire against San Francisco State. Yeah. He had a school record 10 three pointers. Have you seen anyone uh, live shoot that well? Never. Never. That was, that was, that was awesome. That was incredible. Yeah. Well, I'm uh, curious how things have been going for you, adjustment to college basketball. What's been the most difficult adjustment for you? Uh, just the physicality of the game is a lot, a lot higher. Um, the speed of the game is faster. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just it's a little different. A little different. Well, I would guess maybe travel's a little different too. This has been not real representative. Played uh, 10 road games, including the exhibition at Stanford during the month of November. Hectic schedule, but that's not common. Um, how have you handled this hectic travel? Uh, I mean, it's just kind of just been adjusting to it. It's flights in and out every, every weekend, it feels like. And, I mean, it's a little different, but it's not that difficult, I feel like, for me at least. Team starts uh, GNAC play this week. Uh, you're back at home. You host Northwest Nazarene in Central Washington. Uh, what do you expect in conference play starting this week? Uh, I really don't know what to expect. We haven't really gone over any film yet, so I mean, I've only seen Central play in their tournament that they hosted a few weeks ago, and they look pretty solid. But I feel like we can we do what we need to do to play well. And play well, you come to SPU with a real good basketball pedigree. Your uh, father. Uh, Blair was a star player at Auburn High School, then Oregon, and then in the NBA for eight years. Um, have you seen any footage of him play? Uh, no, not really. I've only seen little highlights here or there, but nothing too much. What uh, What have you heard about his days as a player, either from him or from other people at Uh Well, he's told me he's really, he was really, really good. That was <laughs> that's pretty much all he's told me about. Was that he was really good. Does he uh, Does he still uh, play ball at all, or do you uh, guys play much with him? Uh, a little bit, not too much. It's, it takes a little bit for me to actually get him able to come out and play with him. But Growing up, would he play one-on-one uh, -on -one with you at all? Or? Never, never. We uh, just mostly like horse and different shooting games, stuff like that. How's his horse game? Really good. <laughs> I don't think I've ever beat him. <laughs> Even still? Even still, yeah. What, uh, how is he as a... As a parent now of a college basketball player, watching, does he? How, how do you imagine he gets into the game? Or is he critical? Uh, is he he's like? really hands off. He just lets me. He knows that it's my like it's my sports that I want to do with it. So he's he's really hands off and extremely supportive, but hands off for the most part. Thank you. And lastly, uh, off the court, how are things going uh, academically and course work? Uh, I think it's going pretty good right now. I mean. College classes, definitely just from high school classes, college classes, it's difficult. The workload's a little higher, but I think right now it's going good. Great, thank you very much. All right, thank you.